Hey guys, welcome to Scan to Dry. My name is Manuel and I'm back with another tutorial. And today's tutorial, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to ink with a G pen. Now, this is something a lot of people requested, okay? Uh, most especially on Instagram, uh, because I really post videos, whips uh, on my Instagram. I post a lot of drawings there that I, I don't usually post here on YouTube, okay? So if you wanna check out my Instagram, okay, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can, uh, so you guys can go check it out. As a matter of fact, w one of the videos that I posted on my Instagram, okay, you know, got, got over 50,000 views in one day like it was it was crazy how much people liked it so you know you, you can imagine the amount of people that you know asked me uh, you know what g pen do i use how do you use it give me some tips where can i find it so i thought i would make a tutorial of the things that i know now i just want to clarify that i'm not by any means an expert using a g pen okay i i usually i usually i usually say this like in most of my tutorials like i'm not an expert at pretty much anything i'm sure there are definitely other people there uh, out there that you know have way more experience than i do um, i just started a few months ago so i i'm not the most experienced person in the world but i do consider myself to know a, a couple things okay i've learned a couple things uh, over the past few months uh, while I was using the G Pen, okay, and I thought that you know the things that I've learned uh, might help uh, you know beginners out there who want to start using a G Pen and start inking or making manga and stuff like that. All right, in today's video, I'm, I'm gonna be inking um, Edward and Alphonse Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Now I've already I've already drawn it. All I have to do is ink it. I I thought I would draw them because I thought it would be a, a fun drawing to make. Now the materials that I use, I don't consider them to be you know the best because I haven't experienced any other brands or any other materials. I I'm not very very experienced in that aspect but I do think that they're actually pretty good okay so now let's talk about the materials that I use okay so all the G pen related um, materials that I have are from a brand called the leader it's called the leader which is mostly popular for for its paper okay so first I bought the paper okay I bought the uh, the leader type a paper okay so this is the manga paper that I use all right for those of you who are wondering after buying the paper I thought that I needed to buy a G pen okay because I feel that using a G pen might make my drawings look a little bit better or kind of manga like and then I saw that the you know the brand um, actually makes G pens uh, they sell ink and everything so I just I just bought them straight from the leader. So the G pen, the paper, and the ink that I have, okay, are from the leader. But in my surprise, they all actually work pretty good. Now I most especially love the ink, okay? The ink is probably the best one. The ink is, is really good. The leader black type four. Now I don't know what other numbers they are, okay? But I think that the number four is probably the most common one. So I, I wouldn't focus on any other number. But this ink is actually really good because it, it, it the consistency of the ink, okay, is, is pretty good okay not very liquid because really liquid ink actually inks really badly so this ink uh, to me it, it works pretty well okay probably one of the best inks that I've used to ink okay so this ink I would definitely advise now the paper and the ink are actually pretty good but the G pen itself I think it could be better okay but it's it's not the worst G pen in the world but it's it's definitely not the best first of all it came in this packet okay this is the packet that I bought the litter uh, G pen I don't know what it, there it is. Okay, this is the packet that I bought. It came with a nib holder, I think you'd call it, I don't know. This, it came with this, and then three different nibs. Now, the three different nibs I have here, these are the three different nibs that it came with. A small one, a middle-sized one, and then and then the biggest one that is this one now the small one i don't really like because it doesn't ink very well okay and it, it doesn't put the ink on the paper really well the one that i use the most is actually the middle one because that's probably the best one now the big one i don't really like using the one that i normally use the most is the middle one so i would definitely advise you using the middle one the rest i don't know so if i want to make like a really fine detailed thing instead of pressing i would just you know press it lightly so you know the, the line is very thin now i use the middle one because it gives more variety in thickness i mean the middle one and the big one technically they're the same size but the middle one i think gives a more of a, of a variety kind of a line okay so the material that you're going to need is a g pen paper ink a paper towel or a tissue paper cup of water now the paper towel and the cup of water are to clean the nib of the g pen after you use them okay and the last thing you're going to need is a rough sheet of paper now i will explain why you need that later on all right so first let's talk about the paper all right so the paper that i use as i mentioned is the liter type a paper and also, Canson, Canson illustration uh, for comics and manga paper. Now, I usually use the deleter uh, comic paper to make manga, and I use the Canson illustration 
man uh, comic paper to make more kind of a sketchy um, illustration, all right? More kind of a sketchbook. I don't recommend you using a regular printer paper or, or a bad paper. Why I say this is because, you know, when you're inking, what you're doing is pretty much using a very sharp tip to actually scrape off the paper. Now, if the paper isn't thick enough, what I'll do is scrape off the paper and the, the thing that you're scraping gets into the nib of the G-Pen, okay? And that makes it very difficult to ink and it makes this whole mess. So I would advise you to, use, to get a paper that that has a little bit of a thickness to it that is able to withstand wetness or liquid. It's able to withstand liquid. Now, I don't mean, you know, watercolor paper, but at least that can withstand it better than, you know, a regular printer paper. Now, that's when the, you know, rough sheet of paper that I mentioned comes in handy is when, you know, when the, the rest of the paper gets into the nib, uh, what you want to do is, you know, quickly remove that, you know, as you're inking. Now, this doesn't mean that manga paper does a perfect job at, you know, not peeling off because I feel that a lot of people misinform people manga paper or comic book paper yes it, it does scrape off less but it's not perfect it does actually happen very often because I mean it's still paper right so I don't want people to misunderstand comic book paper it's not a perfect paper okay it still peels off but not as much as low quality paper the advice that I'm gonna be giving you guys are things that I've learned over the past few months of me using a G-Pen. Now, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to learn them until you practice them and try them yourself and fail yourself because that is that's how you learn all right especially with something like this okay it's not something that that gets into your head just by listening to it you're gonna have to try it practice and fail as many times as you can to be able to learn these things all right so the first advice that i'm going to give you is ink from left to right okay if you're right-handed you want what you want to do is ink from left to right i, I think it's pretty it's pretty much self-explanatory because all the ink is going to be on the top side and your hand always rests on the paper on the lower right all right so whenever you're inking so that your hand doesn't touch the ink what you want to do always is ink from left to right if you're left-handed ink from right to left now i know it's really hard to follow this rule because you know you just get caught up with inking that you you don't even notice where you're going but you have to try your best to follow the rule even me while inking this drawing i didn't follow it 100 percent but you have to try your best to to you know to remember now the second advice is to ink with confidence now this is something that a lot of people probably struggle with even inking not even with the g pen if a lot of people already have troubles inking confidently with uh, you know with a pen pigment micron micron whatever a g pen is a lot more difficult okay and it's a lot harder to ink with confidence now this is the only way to to gain confidence is to practice okay so the advice that i would give you is to practice as much as you can all right so the third advice is don't get carried away with inking because it's really really easy to just get carried away with inking and forget what you're doing okay now it's now what you have to remember is that the ink is wet i'm sorry but it's not something that you're gonna learn by just listening to me okay it's something that you're gonna have to fail at doing and get frustrated and then the next time you're, you're, you're gonna avoid it because it even up to this day i still do it okay because it's really easy to just get carried away with the inking and then forget that you know the ink is uh, is wet and you know it's black so if you smear it it's gonna be it's gonna be game over <laughs> you have to keep in mind that you're inking with a black ink on a white paper so the smearing is gonna be really bad okay so the first advice is to fill in the big spots with either a marker or a brush it's just so that you just don't waste ink all right uh, now you can either do that or you can scan the drawing and then you know fill in the black you know in photoshop or manga studio or whatever digital program that you have all right so the fifth advice is to dip the pen all the way into the ink until it fills this little hole right here okay now this hole i don't know if you can really see it but this hole is used to capture the ink so that you know you're able to ink longer so what what you want to do is that you want to dip in the, the the pen into the ink up to like here something like this so that this gets filled and then you can ink longer right now what you also want to keep in mind is that you don't overdo it okay don't over dip it because it, it happens a lot you also want to focus on this this part right here okay not the back but the front this part and see how much the ink has filled if it's a lot what you want to do is kind of remove a little bit of the ink because it's gonna be really bad once you like start inking because it's a lot of ink another thing you want to keep in mind is that you don't want to ink upside down you what you want to do is ink right side up okay like this inking like this and not like this you always want to ink with the circular thing 
facing up and not facing down. All right, so the seventh tip is to to practice, okay? I think I mentioned it before. What you wanna do is practice as much as you can, okay? You wanna draw as many drawings as you can because um, the jib pen is, is actually a very tough thing to master. I would advise you to, to practice as much as you can, okay? Make a lot of drawings. Experience really helps a lot in terms of learning, okay? So definitely practice as much as you can, as many drawings as you can, and, and you'll definitely get better at it because the Japan is not something that you learn just using it once, okay? You have to use it many times to fail, okay? To make mistakes so that you don't do them again. It's really difficult, okay? Once you make a mistake with, with the Japan, it's really difficult to, to clean off or it's, so it's, it's really frustrating. So you're gonna have to learn from making mistakes. All right, another advice that I would give you is that if you're into manga, I would advise you to ink your drawings with a G pen. Now, I'm not saying it's so you, think you can practice. I mean, it's that's another reason, but it actually makes your your drawings look more organic and more manga-like if you use a G pen rather than a pigment liner, P micron, pigment micron, whatever. I would advise you to to you know use the G pen in your manga, okay? Because it looks better. It looks more like manga. The effect that you can achieve, you know, with the different line thickness and stuff like that, you know, you can you can't really achieve that with a uh, with a pigment micron or a regular pen. All right, so the ninth advice is to like not use G pens to make straight lines, like, you know, speed lines, stuff like that. I wouldn't advise you to use a G pen. Now, I've definitely seen people out there who have done this, okay, who used uh, a G pen to make speed lines and stuff like that. But personally, I think it will make a mess, okay? So if you wanna make straight lines or, you know, stuff like that, I would advise you to use a regular pen. Uh, I usually use a 0.8, okay, to make the borders of the of the comics and stuff like that. Like, if you wanna make speed lines, stuff like that, I wouldn't advise you to use a G pen because I think it'll make a mess, okay? Personally, I think it'll make a mess, okay? But I've definitely see, seen people out there who have used a G pen, okay, and it works for them. But I think that, it's another level. To be honest, I think that's another level. All right, so the last advice is to not let the ink dry on the G pen, okay? Now, this is something that you pro you wanna avoid as much as possible because it, it happens more often than you think. Okay, what you wanna do is try to avoid the ink to dry on the G pen because what it's gonna do is it's going to spoil the nib. You know, if you're kind of through inking, what you wanna do is dip it in the water, okay? That's why I mentioned the cup of water. What you wanna do is, if the nib is full of ink, what you wanna do is just dip it inside the water, okay? And then use the um, toilet paper or whatever to remove the ink. And then it, the whole thing just cleans off. And yeah, that is pretty much all I have to say about G pens. As I mentioned, I'm not an expert, all right? Um, but hopefully the advice that I gave you today was helpful, all right, for you guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy using your G pens, okay? And and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up, guys. It really helps me a lot to know that you guys are liking my videos. And yeah, thank you all for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Remember to do what you love. Never stop drawing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.